Yeah, there is a modified concept, alternative. <coughs> Working more with alternative B, we preserve the lower left-hand corner of the park as a green space and are taking the active spaces and consolidating them at the so southern portion of the park, at the lower portion of the open lawn. We're creating more green space along the western portion of the park. Already some of the trees there have been removed to open up sight lines <coughs> between the parking and the open spaces. The basketball court is maintained in its current location, but the perimeter is, is improved, the surface is improved, the fencing and such <coughs> will be improved. We have a major gateway at Raymond and Day Street. We maintain the entry at the, south, the southern portion of the site. Those desire lines are addressed and maintained with this teardrop pathway. We have, I believe it's a tenth of a mile loop, so 10 laps around <coughs> that loop will give you a mile. Around the perimeter, you'll have lighting, you'll have the fitness loop, so uh, we'll show you some illustrations of or some photos of, of fitness equipment that could be placed along that loop path. So not only after you've been able to navigate that path, 10 loops, you've gotten in a mile, but you're able to visit the, the, fitness, uh, the fitness centers as well, the fitness uh, equipment as well, outdoor fitness equipment. So by providing the green here, provides a nice backdrop to our play areas, centered between the play areas and a sculptural sort of play environment. We'll show you some photos of this in a few minutes. We have a pavilion structure. That pavilion structure can serve as a, uh, a performance space, can serve as a picnic gathering space uh, for get-togethers and events within the park. It's located at the lower level of the lawn, so anyone sitting on the lawn will have a slightly elevated vantage point looking down toward it. Now the slopes here are very moderate. It's only two to two and a half percent. So it's no different, no steeper than the pitch, the cross pitch on a sidewalk right in front of this building. But for drainage, it works very well. But there's only, there's a change in elevation of about three to four feet from this point to the purple path that we show along this line. Around the perimeter, we have we're, we're taking a Parks Without Border approach. It's a major uh, um, initiative in New York City that you, you might have read about. But we're trying to open the border of the parks so it does not have an institutional feel. Yes, there are some fences for ball containment and for some just creating the boundary, but for the most part, we like to take the chain link fences and eliminate them, and where there are fences, go with something with a bit more of a residential and rural character. And we'll show you some of those illustrations in a second. But reflecting on fence lines, the basketball court would have a chain link in enclosure, <coughs> taller fences by the backstops, shorter fences along the longer stretches. <coughs> we would have a rail fence in a curvilinear fashion set back from the sidewalk along Day Street. So the park looks much more inviting from the perimeter. Without a baseball field, there's no longer a need for a 12-foot or a 15 or 16-foot high fence. We can maintain a nice open perimeter. Excuse me. Yep. You yeah. said you're going to put a uh, chain link, uh, link fence around the perimeter of the basketball court? Mm-hmm. Why not leave it open? Ball containment. Ball running out into the street, ball going into the park. Just for ball containment. Aaron passes, just keeping the ball on the court. Okay, and, that, and can you point out where the uh, dry egress is in, in regards to the mat? Yes, the dry egress is, is a 12.5 elevation from Day and Raymond along this pathway connecting to the existing 12.5 elevation just to the east of the community center. So what the dry egress is suggesting is that this elevation be raised along this portion of the park and that we have a very slight slope. You can still walk it. It's very moderate. You're going to see some renderings uh, at the end that suggests what that slope means. You'll see how moderate it is. But it's just then it's a very moderate slope, southern south on the lawn, heading down towards the uh, pavilion. Okay? Again, about a two, two and a half percent slope at most. Okay, so this is the elevation 12.5, meeting an existing 12.5 elevation here. So the field won't be flat. Mm -hmm. No, the field won't be flat. And you never, the field shouldn't be flat. We need it to drain. So it's not going to be an official soccer pitch or a baseball field or a football field. 